Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today I'm going to show you a little demonstration about the 3D ultrasound in pregnancy. Sometimes when you do the 3D ultrasound, but you see face is adherent to the placenta or to the uterine wall in profile view, you face difficulty to get a good 3D view. It's really a limitation for 3D ultrasound, but using different settings, you may get a little better picture. So whenever you are free, have a little workload, you definitely should practice these settings on a saved image of your machine. Like this image was taken by another doctor and when I was free without any patients in my chamber, I did a practice on these images to get a good view. Like here, I'm going to show you a picture which I have reconstructed from that data and it apparently may not look quite good but it's better than getting nothing. You see, I have changed it a little and the picture is a little better right now. Again, I have changed a little with some chroma settings and the face looks a little better here. And just rotate a little and you may get another good view. So all you need is to have some patience and practice it every day whenever you get a little free time. So let me show you how I practiced on this 3D data. Here is the picture that I could get from the raw data. I have rotated a little, face gets cut off. It looks not bad, but still I need to practice with different settings. Sometimes it may give you a good result also. Here's the raw data. I am changing the region of interest, that is ROI. That means I'm moving the picture actually. Now I'm uh, rotating the sagittal section to get a view with at least a little amniotic fluid entered to the face. Now here you can see that. So I have chosen the OmniView option of this machine. I have drawn a line clicking on the OmniView option. And now I'm changing the thickness. So the thickness I'm choosing will be converted into a 3D image here. So I'm choosing the area of interest. Sometimes this type of thickness over the hands or fingers may give you a very good result. Even here, you can see the lips are quite well understandable. So I have rotated the image a little and you can see a better quality image here. but you should not get satisfied. So I'm changing the transparency to get overall a good view. Just do freehand practice over this image. Sometimes you may get a desirable picture. I'm rotating the image again, zooming it. Rotating again. You can see the lips quite good. A glimpse of finger also but the nose and eye regions need a little better image now i'm choosing the sub 3d option from where you can change the tint or chroma and there are many options here and you can choose whatever you like i'm clicking on these colors and choosing the image that may look better tell me which one looks better to you I'm rotating a little. Changing the threshold, increasing and decreasing it to get a good detail. You can also change the begin. So that's how in difficult cases, using OmniView, I can get a better picture. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.